Welcome to a video lecture on the transfer of thermal energy. In this case, we will be looking at conduction. This falls along in section 13.2 of your textbook. Without further ado, let's get moving on. Conduction, very simply, is when things are in direct contact with each other and thermal energy is transferred between the two of them. So heat flow, the flow of heat, it's kind of a weird to say that the flow of heat, because heat is the flow of thermal energy, but it's kind of become common acceptance now. So whenever conduction occurs, um, the two objects or two surfaces need to be in touching each other. This is the same thing, like you were very familiar with this. You have your hand, you grab something that's metal, like the leg of the table or uh, a railing. You feel it feels cold to you. This is because there's a difference in temperature between your hand and the railing, and thermal energy or heat is flowing from your hand into the railing. And what they want to go is they want to, this will happen until they reach thermal equilibrium. Uh, the conduction, as we'll see in a second, depends on the surface area and really uh, the type of material that we're talking about. So conduction, direct contact, transfer, transfer of energy. It's from the molecules kind of bouncing into each other and how they move from there. So for this here, um, it's just a little quick diagram showing you that heat, thermal energy flows from the warmer body to the cooler body. It depends on some length L between the warmer side and the cooler side and some cross-sectional area A. Um, it also depends on the type of material, which is uh, which depends on some constant. Each material transfers heat. The rate that it transfers heat to is different for each material. Um, some are very conductive, uh, some are not. Materials that we call uh, that are insulators are ones that do not conduct heat very well. And one of the best ones is air. And this is because there are so many molecules spread out. So a lot of things that we use with good insulation to prevent heat flow uses uh, the idea of air or tiny little air pockets, each individual air pockets. So that's one of the main uh, things about it. If you think of like insulation foam in your house, uh, down uh, any down feathers, um, big puffy blanket, there's a lot of little tiny air pockets in there. And that's what is really utilized to create the, the insulation. Conduction, conductive materials are generally metals, or in overall, it's, it's things that are, are generally denser so that that way they transfer the material, the energy directly from one atom to the next, or one molecule to the next at a, at a higher rate. The amount of thermal energy or heat conducted uh, or transferred through conduction um, through some uh, bar, or we could consider this a just a little, like a long object, um, depends on the cross-sectional area. That's the A. The uh, constant thermal conductivity, K, um, the difference in temperature between the two ends, because we remember we said something at a with a greater difference in temperature, more heat will flow, there's, more, there's a more chance, and as uh, the farther things are apart in temperature, the more that the more thermal energy it wants to kind of, it wants to e reach that thermal equilibrium, and it depends on the length of this uh, bar. And Q is the amount of heat, and Q over T is given as H, which is the rate of heat transfer. Um, your formula sheet for the AP exam and uh, AP physics uh, gives it as H is equal to QA uh, times change in temperature, or KA over times the change in temperature divided by L, the length, whereas the textbook uses Q is equal to, or the amount of heat, um, is equal to the constant times the accelerate, uh, excuse me, the cross-sectional area, the change in temperature to multiply by the time, and all that divided by the length of the bar. So just two different uh, usages of the formula, same ID, idea, ooh, uh, where H is really the rate of heat transfer and Q is how much heat is totally transferred throughout a long uh, object where you have some cross-sectional area eight. A and a length L and a change in temperature of T between the two different ends of that bar. 
Two quick questions from the lecture. The rate of heat transfer, H, is measured in energy per unit time or energy per second. What is another unit for this? And second, a 1.8 centimeter thick floor, wood floor covers a four meter by five meter room. The foundation on which the flooring sits is at a temperature of 16.2 degrees, while the air in the room is at 19.6 degrees. What is the rate of heat transfer through the floor? Thank you very much. Have a good night, and I'll see you tomorrow in class.